Hello, I welcome you all. Uh, the problem reads that uh, the disc B has a mass of 20 kg and is supported on the smooth cylindrical surface by a spring having a stiffness of K equal to 400 newtons per meter and uh, an stretched length of uh, L node is equal to 1 meter. The spring remains in the horizontal position since its end A is attached to the small roller guide which has a negligible weight. Determine the angle of theta for equilibrium of the roller. The problem is coming from the Engineering Mechanics uh, Statics uh, textbook, uh, 13th edition by R.C. Hibela. Okay, let's dive into the problem. So we've got a system here that has a small disk A, and the small disk A, this mass is negligible. And this small disk is connected to a big disk that has a mass of 20 kg. Okay. So we are being asked to uh, uh, find the angle of theta. Okay. When the system is in equilibrium. Right. And uh, the whole system will remain horizontal. We have a spring. Okay, this cord or this uh, material that attaches a uh, disc A to disc B, okay, is uh, connected with a spring, okay, and uh, we've also been given the spring constant, right? So let's draw a free body diagram quickly. So we have this small disc, in fact, we start from here, we have a weight. Okay, weight coming from this disc, and we've been told this weighs 20 kg, so we multiply it by the acceleration due to gravity. All right, this is uh, 20 by 9.81, 20 by 9.81, we have uh, 196. So we have 196.2 newtons. Right, what else do we have? We have uh, a normal force coming from this disc and it will act at that point where uh, the disc is uh, tangential, uh, the cylindrical surface is tangential to the disc, okay, and it will be at that point. And let's call this as our NB. And NB is going to have two components. It will have one component. Okay, all of them, they will be at the center of the disc. This component and this angle here, let's not forget to say this angle here is theta, all right? Okay, it's the same as this one, right? You agree? Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, this component, vertical component, is going to be equal to NB, NB sine theta. And then we'll have another component there, like so. Okay, can you see that one? Mm-hmm. This one is going to be equal to NB uh, cos theta, right? We have another reaction force, normal force to the small disk, okay? And then let's call this one as our NA, right? What else? Um, the spring, when the spring is in equilibrium, we expect uh, is horizontal length, this length here to be equal to, this length here is going to be equal to, uh, this length here will be equal to uh, R uh, plus the, the radius of the small disk 0 0.2, okay, cos theta, right? So this is going to be equal to R is 2 and plus 0 0.2. So this becomes 2.2 .2 cos theta. And mind you, this becomes the final length of the spring when the system is in equilibrium. Right. So we have a system like this. So we have all the information. So what we just need now is to apply the equations of equilibrium quickly. Right. Let's start with the spring force. There's going to be a spring force in this particular spring when it gets stretched and we know the spring force from Hooke's law is equal to and this spring force is going to be equal to the the normal force at A which is Na it is going also to be equal to uh, the normal force or the component in the horizontal direction coming from uh, Nb which is 
and b cos uh, theta right you agree and then this is going to be equal to k times s and we know what our k is k has already been given is 400 newtons per meter s okay is going to be equal to final length of the spring minus c original length and therefore this is going to be equal to uh l final is this one here right so it's 2.2 uh cos theta minus uh one right this okay okay is that fine mm -hmm. so we have written everything so therefore our fs which is equal to na which is also equal to nb cos theta is going to be equal to 400 uh, times uh, 2.2 .2 cos theta minus 1 and this is therefore equal to uh, it is therefore equal to uh, when we do the multiplication 400 by 2.2 .2 is 880 right uh, this is 880 uh, cos theta minus 400 is everything fine I think so right so I think with that in mind let's uh, this is one equation. Let's apply the equations, the other equations. So let's say summation of uh, forces in the y direction. Okay. What do we have in the y? We have a minus, if this is our reference positive going up, we have a minus 196.2 newton, of course, see, not units, then plus nb sine theta is equal to zero all right so the two equations are enough of course we do have another one summation of forces in the x but we will not even use it that much right but i can indicate it okay we have a, a minus na a plus nb cos Theta equal to zero, right? Mm -hmm. So now with this information, we are going to make n b here subject to the formula. Seen here, we make n b subject to the formula. If we did so, uh, if we made, if we did so, we we'll have something like this. We are going to have something like this. Uh, our n b there is going to be equal to uh, eight, 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 eighty. Uh, cos theta minus 400 divided by cos theta and when it cancels out we will have 880 minus 400 divided by cos theta all right and then we are going to replace this we'll replace this quickly here all right is that fine sure then not there not there sorry not there, not that equation. Uh, that equation there. I meant the first equation. It's the one that has uh, a lot of information that we can use there. Great stuff. Okay, so we have we're going to have minus one ninety six point two uh, plus n b. We say this eight eighty uh, minus four hundred divided by cos theta. Then everything times sine theta is equal to zero. All right. And then when we simplify it further, this becomes 196.2 plus uh, sine there. This becomes 880 sine theta. And then minus 400 sine divided by cos is tan theta is equal to zero. So we have this equation. Okay. So look at this equation, we need to solve it. And one of the methods, I'll, or the method I'll use is a uh, trial and error method. Okay, trial and error method. You can solve this particular equation, whichever method is okay for you, but I'll use trial and error method. Right, mind you want to find the angle. 
So let me wrap this quickly so that I wrap this. I need some space. I need some space. We found the equation that we want. So we just want to solve it quickly. All right. Um, where are we? So I'll use the trial and error method. Okay. I'll bring it there quickly. So I'll write this as let this be a function of theta like this. Okay, which is going to be equal to 196.2 uh, uh, Instead of writing it, let me just copy it quickly All right So I'll write it like this Okay So let it be a function like that and then uh, try and error says uh, This equal to zero like that. So on the number line on the number line, I have zero, I have negatives. On the left, I have positives in the right. So the idea is to find values that will give me negatives and later on positives. And then later on, I'll keep on doing the iteration till I come to zero. Okay, because the function is see, supposed to approach zero for us to find theta. Okay. So I'll have theta this side. Uh, and then I'll have a uh, uh, function of theta the other side. For three functions, usually you find you are going to have more than one function. So for you to check that, you can do this. Plug in zero quickly into the function. What do you get? You're going to get 196.2. Uh, plug in 30. These are, these are degrees. Okay. You're plugging in, in this function on top. You're going to get a 12.86. Uh, plug in 45. You get a 26 point we are just checking where we have solutions normally i like using 0 30 45 and 60 okay you are going to get a 126 negative 126.2 what does this information tell you we are saying when you find a negative and then you find a positive where you have a negative and a positive it means in between there is a solution right a solution Okay, which is the value of theta that will make the function equal to zero. So between zero and 30 here, we have one solution. Okay, you agree? Great, we have one solution. We have one solution, right? And between 45 and 60, we have another solution. But I will not calculate the second solution. So in this particular case, what I've seen is we have two solutions. We have a solution between 45 and 60 degrees. And we have also a solution between 0 and 30 degrees. Why? Because look at 0, it, we're having a minus. Then 30 degrees, we're having a positive. It means between the two, there's going to be a point where uh, theta, uh, the value of theta will make the function equal to 0. Okay. So we have a solution. We have solution 1. We have solution 2. I'll not work out solution 2. You can try it yourself. But this problem is going to have uh two solutions you can check further if you expect to have something at 75 okay but i'm thinking this is just going to have two solutions all right you can check it but i'll not solve for solution two i'll just solve for solution uh, one all right so now let me rub this part here so that i go for solution one only all right there we go Okay, where where am I? Okay, I'm here. I'm just trying to draw this line. All right, so there we go. So we have 30, 0 and 30. It means we have a solution in between 0 and 30. So what we're going to do, we are going to get the average of 0 and 30. What is the average of 0 and 30? 0 plus 30 divided by 2. 0 plus 30 is 30 divided by 2 is 15. So plug in 15 again in the function. Plug in 15, 15 degrees. They are all degrees here on the left. What do you get? I worked out this in advance. Uh, so it's minus 75.6. Uh, I'll plug in 22.5. We're going to have, of course, uh, when you have a negative like this, it means the next stage will be the two. All right, the two, okay uh it will be the two uh 30 and 15 you sum them up and then get the average what do you get so you get the 22.5 so what we are summing up is uh so the first step we summed up 
we did this we got the average now we are doing this so that we get the average the average of that will be 22.5 uh, what do we get we get a minus 25.12 okay so you do the average of 22.5 and 30 you are going to get a 26.25 degrees Break it out to get a minus 4.2 so you continue the process in that manner you continue a process okay a little bit tedious but uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a method that also is you can use uh, you have 4.82 you continue in that manner 27.1875 we'll have a 0 0.41 uh 26.72 you have a negative 1.88 okay 26.95 you have a minus 0 0.74 uh 27.07 you have a minus 0 0.15 uh, 27.13 you have 0 0.13 and 27.1 you have minus 0 0.01 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 right so when you look at this this is at least normally i, would, I normally love my solution to be something like 0 0.01 0 0.02 is fine for me the error is minimum so therefore my theta okay my theta is going to be equal to uh, 27.1 okay my theta is equal to 27.1 degrees all right so this is uh, one of the solutions to the problem and uh, you can check it out by uh, feeding it into the equation realize that uh, uh, this particular uh, angle um, is uh, one of the solutions for the system to be in equilibrium right i hope the video was helpful if it was give me a thumbs up like my video share my video subscribe to my channel bye bye and uh, see you in my next uh, screencast